Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm finally doing another part of the creative things to do when you're bored series. I know it's been forever since I did my last video with creative things to do, but now I'm finally back. I've got so many requests for another part. I don't even know which part this is now. Is it part six? Anyway, I'm back with new ideas. I know you've all been waiting for another part and here it is. So let's get into the video. For the first DIY, you're gonna need a bottle cap and a safety pin. I started by painting my bottle cap white and I did about three layers. And once I was done, I started drawing cherries on my bottle cap and then painting over it. Once I was done with painting, I glued the safety pin to the back of the bottle cap and then I was done. The next DIY is something my sister and I wanted to try for a long time now, so we went to our local pottery painting shop and we chose an object that we were going to paint and there were a lot of colors to choose from. We both didn't know what we were going to paint at first, but then I looked on Pinterest and I found my inspo. I started by drawing my motives first and then I went over it with paint. We had a lot of fun and it was not that hard, but it was also not easy and towards the end I didn't have a lot of time left. So I got kind of frustrated and I really messed up. And you're gonna see the final result now. I have to say those two motives from the Studio Ghibli movies that I had as inspo turn out to be not that bad. Like they're really cute. Not as I expected them to be, but they're cute. I really don't know what happened to the other side of the cup. I just lost control. I was frustrated. Nothing that I tried worked out. So I ended up having this big gray brown disaster. <laughs> I'm someone who loves collecting seashells when I'm on vacation and I had a lot of seashells at home. They were not that big, but it still worked for this DIY. And I also had some old candle wax left, so I melted that wax and I mixed it with some other colors like yellow and red. And then I also bought some candle wick and cut it into three little pieces. And then I tried pouring the melted candle wicks into the seashell and I messed up a little bit, um, but it was all right. And then I put the candle wick in there and held it in there for a few seconds until the candle wicks started to dry. And then I cut off a little bit of the candle wick and then I was done. If you've watched my old DIY videos, you know I've done stickers before, but this time I have a better way to do them. Last time I printed out motives, but this time I wanted to draw some. And once I was done drawing, I cut them out. And then you're gonna need clear tape and baking paper. And you're gonna roll out the baking paper and put the clear tape on top of it. And then you're going to place your stickers on the clear tape. And then put a second layer of clear tape on top of those stickers. And once you're done doing that, you're going to cut everything out.
Because it's getting colder outside now, I wanted to do a scarf and I decided to do it in white but in the video you see me doing it with a dark blue color because my crochet hook is white as well and if I would have used the white yarn to show you how to do the stitches, it would have been more difficult to see it. So you're just kind of seeing a mini version of a scarf in this video. But I started by doing a chain of 25 but you can also do more or less. It just depends how wide you want your scarf to be. And once I finished that, I started doing half double crochet stitches in every hole. Once you're done you're gonna turn your work and then you're gonna chain two and start doing the half double crochet stitches in every hole again. And then you're just going to continue like that. Once you're done with a row, you're just gonna turn your work, chain two, and then start doing the half double crochet stitches again until you have the length that you want for your scarf. When you get to the point where you used all of your yarn, you're just gonna take a new yarn ball and then tie it together and continue in crocheting. Next DIY is also really easy, you just need a big stone and a small stone and you're gonna make the big stone look like a leaf and I started by painting both of the rocks white first and then green for the big stone and red for the small stone. Then 
and then I just added details and glued the small stone on top of the big stone. So as always, I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you got inspiration from this video and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!